Okay, so uh, let's try to do this one. A metal object was found to have a mass of 18.7863 grams. The object was inserted into a graduated cylinder containing 3.75 mils of water. The new volume reading was 5.89 mils. Calculate the density of the metal object to the correct number of significant figures. Okay, so, um, the first thing that it gives us is the mass of the object. That's going to be 18.7863 grams. It also gives us the initial volume of water. And that is 3.75 mils. And it says the new volume is 5.89 mils. So it asks, what's the density of the metal object? and which measurement, mass or volume, limits the number of sig figures. Okay, so uh, the volume of the object is the thing that we're going to want to calculate first. So we calculate that by displacement. So before, the water was this high in volume, now it's this high. So what we're going to do is subtract those two numbers from each other. It says it right here. And that'll give us the volume of the object. So, fine. Yeah, it says to pour it out. For the water. 5.89 minus 3.75. It says it right there. 2.14 mils. Okay, so now, Let's find the answer to the first question. The density of the object, remember density is mass over volume. So it's going to be the mass of the object over the volume of the object. So the mass of the object is given to us, 18.7863 grams. The volume of the object, we figured out, 2.14 mils. So, I get uh, 8.78 grams per mil. So that's the density of the object. And then the second part of the question said, which measurement limits the number of sig figs, mass or volume? Well, the mass has one, two, three, four, five, six sig figs, and the volume has three sig figs, so this is the limiting the volume. Okay. So, I don't know if anybody was listening to that or just doing their, um, so were you listening? Do you have a question on that? Okay. Is there, is, yeah. Are there any questions if anybody was listening? Okay, cool.